we'll see what the Muslim will say about the religion. Grimist, uh, go ahead, my friend. Chermist, are you there? Okay. Davis? Hi, CP. How are uh, you? I'm not working, CP. Yeah, what? The audio is not working. The audio is not working where? Uh, on Rumble. On Rumble? Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Yes. Let me see. Uh, Look like this has happened since yesterday. Yeah, it should be offline there. Uh, something wrong then. Yes, oh, it came and it went back again. Oh. Uh, maybe the software is not doing a good job for Ramble. All right, for today, we will stop Ramble, you know. And uh, we will continue on YouTube, and tomorrow I will see what I can do. Uh, you can hear now? Uh, the guys are saying it's sound is coming here. Yeah. Let me just check again, please. It's a black screen. What are you using? What is the browser you are using? You know, you try to use the app or use Opera. Don't use uh, Google. No, I'm using the app. Okay. Oh, it's working now. It's working. Yeah. It's working. Thanks very much, CB. All right. Okay. Thank you. We will see. Let me know, please, if you uh, if there is a problem. Um, I'm using. Uh, I'm using the app. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure really what is the reason for this because. Uh, I'm using the software for both of them, same software broadcasting for both. So if people receive a voice in YouTube, it should be, you know, both receive voice from YouTube. I mean, from the software, not only one of them. Uh, but uh, what we can do, something fishy. All right. We will see. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Uh, Charmist, are you there? Charmist, are you there? Okay. Who is a Muslim would like to join us so we can have some discussion about Islam? I believe Muhammad was a Hindu. He never was a Muslim. And he believed in the power of the cow. Prove me wrong. Any Muslim? We know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the chapter of the cow. It is the massive chapter, hundreds of verses. And we know that Muhammad, he believed that his God, he resurrect people by cows. So there is a connection between Muhammad, God, power, and cow. Like why Allah did not say, uh, you know, like if you want to reject somebody, beat him with the, you know, with the goat meat. Why he did not say beat him with the, uh, you know, sheep. Why the cow? What is the secret? So if we go in the Quran here, and you look at the chapter 2, Al-Baqarah, which is nothing but the cow. You will see how massive this is totally this is a book by itself look how big this is a chapter endless uh, 
And one of the a key point of the Quran that when you read the chapter, you will find that there is no point between the verses. There is nothing, you know, cow, Abraham, Moses, suddenly jumped to the Christian, then he jumped to Muslims, then he jumped, uh, you know, all kinds of madness. And there is no connection. It's like, you know, when you can tell that the one who is writing the book, he is suffering from flight of thoughts. He don't, he don't have any thought, actually. Do we have any Muslim? Charmist, if you don't uh, talk, I'm going to boot you. Why you join us here if you don't want to talk? Okay. Do we have any Muhammadan? The God of Islam is so ignorant, he do not even know what the Christians believe. He do not know what the Trinity is. He think the Trinity is Jesus, Mary, and Allah. But we don't believe in Allah. Number two, Mary have nothing to do with the Trinity. So what kind of God he come to such a false conclusion? And why he made such a mistake? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? By the way, when I played for you before, if you remember, uh, this guy Perfect Dawa debate with me. Do you remember he mentioned to me that he have uh, he read Tafsir of a guy his name is Rajawi? It turned to be that this guy he never wrote a book about Islam. <laughs> I mean, do you see how they lie? So I when I said to him. Which tafsir you accept so we can read it from? So he gave me a book which does not exist. Never exist. And here I need you to notice that when you are speaking to Muslims, they absolutely deceive and lie. He said to himself, if I give him a name of a book, this guy will find it. He knows all the books. So let me give him a name of anyone. Mas'ud Rajawi is not even a sheikh. So, he gave me a name of a book which never exists. A person who never spoke about Islam. He don't even care about Islam. He gave me the name of the book. Of a book is not exist, so I will not find it and I will not get him busted. Because whatever he said, I get him busted. So here, you know, you need to remember always that when you debate a Muhammadan, you are not debating someone is sincere in his belief. This is why always we say, you cannot debate a liar, you know. They lie, they deceive. The guy, he claim he is a Greek, but he converted to Islam, and we know not. The other guy says, I am a Christian confused about the Trinity, but he is a Muslim. Uh, you know, the second you say to them, Muhammad is a, you know, was a bad person, right away he gets so upset. Like, it's easy even to discover how they lie. And that is telling you that Islam is nothing but satanic cult. Why anyone would love to lie to defend his belief? What kind of religion, the religion which, you know, based supposedly in truth, that's what they say. Muhammad, he brought the truth. Muhammad is telling the truth. And then, when you talk to them, they lie. People lie only when they are ashamed of what is written in their books. Nobody will lie because he is not ashamed. So when you speak to Muslims, you need to take that into your account. Like yesterday, we have Abdul, he called me. The hadith says sahih, it's da'if. It says in the front of you, da'if. Well, they know those are human. They are human. <laughs> they make mistakes. <laughs> well, aren't you human too? Isn't Muhammad a human too? Uh, you know, so anytime 
you show them what is extremely embarrassing, even sometimes like not too much embarrassing, is still they hide behind that our book is corrupted. This is what they mean, by the way, when they say that if they are saying to you, Muslim books are full of garbage. It's corrupted. Yet they go chase the Christian says, your Bible is corrupted, brother. Great temperance. First of all, the Hadith book is not accepted. Exactly. All your religion is based on the Hadith books. Exactly. However, the temperance. There's a lot of Hadith. It's not accepted. And it's naive and it's directed. Okay, but it says here authentic. Great temperance. What authentic to my brother? It's not authentic to me. <laughs> the game of authentic, not authentic. Is that supposed to be for your side or against you? This is against you because you just confirmed that your religion never preserved. And each one of you, he bring his own judgment to defend only sponsored by hypocrisy and lying. So the same hadith, it says sahih, they say to you, other person, he says, this is not sahih. So if we learn the religion of Islam, if this religion is ever exist, where we can get our sources from? Any Muhammadan? From the Hindus? Did the Hindu preserve the Quran and the Hadith? Who is responsible for not preserving Islam? Shall we blame the Jews? In fact, yes, they blame the Jews. Believe it or not, they blame the Jews. Muhammadan, they blame everybody except themselves. If his wife, she cannot have babies, he don't blame himself in the bed, he blame a Jew. They have no electricity, they blame the Jews. No jobs, they blame the Jews, even though they have the most rich countries in the world of oil. Any Muhammadan? Muhammad, he see the Jews anywhere he go, even when he is going to eat lizards. Uh, lizard. Hello. Yes. Hello, yes, I hear you, uh, Kermist. Go ahead. Shermist or Kermist? How I can say your name? Uh, are you are you uh, uh, you're an atheist yes what do you think about Muhammad he's not a prophet okay. that's it why he's not a prophet I mean I don't believe in him so yeah, that's just it. but why he is not a prophet why you don't believe in him uh, because I'm not Muslim I'm not, I don't follow the tradition of Islam like I know I know atheist. I know but why you don't believe in him uh, because I don't know, there's so many prophets like they claim to be prophets. I don't know which to believe, to be honest. But I have like uh, much criticism, criticism about Islam and Christianity. You know, give me I one, know give me one a criticism about Islam and one about Christianity. I mean, Christianity isn't that right either. I mean, if you read the Bible, uh huh. I have a question for you. But can you give so me, creates... can you give me first the criticism you have against Islam first, and then give me the Bible? Um, I would like to start with the Bible. If, no, you if, see, for me, I would like to be, ex I examine the honesty of people, to be honest with you. And I want to be sure yeah. that you are not a fake atheist. So are you willing to say something very bad and negative about Muhammad or you are not? I mean, Muhammad, I think he's a like, criminal, you could say. All right. Um, so that, like, that's enough. Go, go ahead for yeah. me. The, go, go to the Bible. So my question is, who creates darkness and evil in uh, Christianity? God created everything, but when God created evil, he created good. Because evil turned to be 
you know, evil by itself. God did not create evil to make it evil. God created an angel, this angel, he decided to become evil. The same as he created you. Like now, you are an evil person. And I will tell you why. God, he created you. And he gave you free will. And then you abuse the free will. And you decide to become evil and deny the one who created you. In the eye of God, this is evil. In my eye, this is evil. Therefore, I believe you are a very evil person. You deny your maker. And you decided to laugh at him. Okay. Yeah. So God, he so gave you... God gave you free will, and, you know, you abuse your free will. This is why, actually, he gave it to you, to see who is the one love him voluntarily, and the one who hate him voluntarily. You decide to hate him voluntarily, so, you know, that's your decision. So, yeah, the house this verse explains. I thought, like, Iblis is, I saw it in the Quran as well, that I don't know about uh, the Quran being from Iblis, but I saw, like, uh, verse in the bible someone gave me i don't know if he was muslim but this verse is like isaiah 45 7 it says i form the light and create darkness i make peace and i create evil i the lord do all these things yeah i don't know so what uh, i thought it would like satan you know no this is first of all god he created everything everything created by him nothing else I, uh, he so yeah, he created he created evil when he created an, uh, the angel who failed. So when he say I created evil, that means he created us. We are the evil too. You see, we always, people, they blame Satan for everything. But the fact, uh, uh, Satan, yes, he is the source of uh, lying. and But human being is no less Satan than Satan. So God, he created Adam as an example. Adam, he have two sons. One of them, he killed the other brother. That is evil. Who created the sons of Adam? God. So when he's saying, I created evil, he is confirming his creation of everything. Because they might say, oh, some they might say, oh, maybe God created only the good ones. No. God created, this is why the Bible said, the sun rise above the bad, and the, 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 the good and the evil. So the sun, which means the benefit of the sun, uh, both will get it, and the Son is a creation of God. So God provides benefit for both, and this is why there is a day of judgment. For now you get the benefit, all of you. For, for now you live free as you wish, you do as you wish, but time will come and you will pay for your crimes. So you can say as you wish, you know, as an atheist, say, oh, well, God created evil. But all of us, we knew that, that the Bible, all of it is about uh, like Jesus says, love your enemy. Does that sound evil to you? No, that's why it's, it's confusing for me, this verse. Like, it, no, it's not confusing. Really awesome. No, no, you see, my friend, it's not confusing. But because you did decide to, to run into conclusion, not to study the book carefully. So, love your enemy. If, if all of us, we practice this, regardless if you are an atheist or Buddhist or Christian or Hindu or anything, if you practice this sentence alone, the whole earth will become heaven. No criminals will be exist. No evil will be done. No harm will be done to anyone. Poor people love each other. Even even poor people, they will not be starving for, for food. Why? Because people love each other and they help each other. Right now, most of the countries, including the poor ones, they spend massive budget. For what? For defense. Why? Because everybody is scared of the evil of the neighbor. Trillions of dollars, not billions. Like country like India, as an example, or Indonesia, or even America. I mean, there's countries, people, they cannot even have a blanket to sleep in it. Yet, the government, they have to spend billions of dollars, if not a trillions, on war machines. Why we need the war machines? Because everybody is afraid of the evil. The big fish want to eat the small fish. The powerful country want to swallow the neighbors. Like now China is expanding. It's taking, you know, want to take in, so and the Russian and etc. 
and Western are now better. Like in a certain time, the Western they were doing the same. So always, uh, powerful countries they take advantage of your weakness. They suck your resource. They steal your uh, goods. Uh, uh, they abuse your citizen, uh, just for the sake of what evil. So, uh, uh, but God did not say to them, "Be evil, love your enemy." Wish to others what you wish to yourself, and then everybody will be fine. Just one sentence, not a book. So, what is the job of Iblis in uh, Christianity in the Bible? He have no, he have no job. It's not about the job. I mean, this is funny description to oh, stay a okay. job. We are not working. Yeah. We are not working in McDonald, my friend. So, so what, like, what yeah. is what is your job in Christianity? You, you. What's your job in Christianity? Just to pray to Jesus. No, 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 no. You as an atheist. Oh, I mean, uh, I just try to be a good person in that sense. No, 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 mm. no, no. Your job in in in, in Christianity as an atheist is to, to criticize Christianity and make fun of it and say this is stupid and weird and etc. And being an atheist. Oh no, no, not really. But it's just like I saw many. Maybe it depends because I was on. An anti-Christian anti side, maybe that, that's why I... Yeah, but you need to ask yourself why you get attracted to anti-Christian side unless you are anti-Christian too. Yeah, it's because like, uh, I thought in Christianity was like this religion of peace and then I just thought the side was like, yeah, okay, I'm curious to see if the, the arguments they bring there are good. So I saw the verses, I read them and I just thought like... My friend, first of, all, first of all, the word peace is a, yeah. a delusion. A human being, he yeah, keep, he keep, uh, hold on, let me answer you. The word peace is an illusion. People, they keep living it. You have no peace unless you are with God. You will never be in peace. And this is why I'm saying to you, if you practice one sentence of Christ's teaching, then peace will be on earth, not peace only in your home. Then you will not be worried about your security. Peace and illusion as long as you are against God, because simply always you have the evil inside you tempting you to take over the neighbor. If that's not you, the neighbor will do it. If not the neighbor, the neighbor of the neighbor. There's always somebody, he will take advantage of your peace. Let us say you are a very peaceful person. You are against using violence in any way, any mean. Me too, I hate violence. I hate it. I don't even like people to watch uh, boxing, you know, or kickboxing, you know, I, because I don't find it a sport, first of all. I find it just a business for money. Same time, it doesn't teach us anything good. We are, we are just learning how to hurt each other. But doesn't mean I am against somebody defending himself. Absolutely not. But in the same time, peace is not going to be exist and never exist in this earth. Since man, he was dividing himself from God. And this is what happened to Adam. Adam was living in peace. Total peace, no enemies. He created an enemy to himself. And the first enemy was for Adam, it was him. And you are the enemy of yourself. So when we allow evil to occupy our heart, or let us say, I'm not the person who want to do evil, but there is always evil ones around us. And we need protection. That's why we have police. That's why we have army. This is why we have rules. This is why we have law. Why? Because we are always afraid of what is going to happen next. When you walk in the darkness, have you ever walked in the walk in the wood at the dark time? Uh, yeah, there was a time. Okay, how did it feel to be like? Is it the same to walk in the darkness in the wood, the same as at night at the daytime? Sorry. I mean. Uh... Probably isn't because if it's dark, you can't see what's around you. It exactly. Probably, it depends on the person if you're scared or not. But yeah. No, it doesn't it's matter how brave you are. In the darkness, yeah. you are alarmed. Even if <laughs> even if you are the most brave one, why? Because you don't see what's around you. You are not feeling secure enough. Even if there's no evil around you, you might step somewhere and you fall over a cliff. Maybe a snake will bite you. You don't see. So now you lost the most effective way of defense, which is vision. 
So if I lose my vision, I feel always I am not secure. And risk can approach me easy and take advantage of me not having vision. At night, there is many creatures, they have a thousand times better vision than mine. Those, they will take advantage of me. So because I know now that I am not able to see, I am in the stage of defense. The second I have a light or a candles or a flashlight or etc., my alarm will be lower because now I can see. And this is exactly what the Christianity is about. You live in the darkness, you are in total darkness. You, are, you depend on yourself. The whole society you live in depends on itself. Which means everybody do as he wish. The evil one, he hunt for you. And if you are not an evil, at least in their level, you will be hunted. So either there is a hunter or there is a hunted. With God, there is no hunter and hunted. Nobody will be hunted. But the human being, sadly, choose to be an evil doer and he enjoy it. This is why Christianity is extremely important to fix the society. You will notice that liberals, as an example, in the state or Europe, they are doomed. Why? Because they fought the Bible. So now their kids is what? You know, go Saturday night, those liberals. Night club, sex, drinking, drugs, very high percentage of those youngs, they in dead in a very young age. Do you uh, still have to follow the Old Testament? So if you say that uh, we, if you live by the Bible or the state uh, like rules by the uh, word of the Bible, do they have to like uh, keep the word of the Torah of the Old Testament? If I have, like, if I have a Christian state, I will follow every single word in the Old Testament, whatever it is, without asking me. So if I have a Christian state, I will do what God command me to do. But yeah, I don't. Why do many, okay. So why do many Christians say like it's the Old Testament? Jesus gave us a new law, so we are not. No, that's not true. Whoever a Christian says that to you, that's not true. Jesus, he said, "I came to fulfill, not to destroy." So what Jesus, ah, okay. so okay. what Jesus did, he he fulfilled. In the same time, he explained some wrong understanding the Jews have for the law. Like as an example, you shall not work in Saturday. Saturday. Uh, it's not for God as much it is for the man. So Jesus said to them, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So the Jews, they start worshipping Saturday instead of worshipping God. And they lost the mercy sense of it. So Saturday, the, the purpose was for it. The greedy of us, including the Jews, they don't want to rest. They don't want to give even their servants time to rest. They work seven, seven days a week, non-stop. They force them to work. The farmers are the same. The, 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 the one doing the trade business is the same. So now, God forced them that everybody, everybody is not allowed to work. So the command came to solve a social issue, not the opposite. God do not need your day. And God do not even need your prayer. This is why Jesus said, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So what Jesus did, he did not destroy the Sabbath. He explained it in the correct way, very wise way. Same time he fulfilled and he completed the law. We have another two, uh, caller, if you don't mind, my friend, the atheist. Uh, Rizaler, you are, a, you, are an, uh, you are a Muslim, Mr. Rizaler. Yes, I do. I do. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right. Go ahead, my friend. What do you think about your prophet? Is he a prophet of God? Yes, of course. Like, just like uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, why he is a prophet of God? Tell me. Because he believes in all the prophets you believe. Oh, that doesn't make me a prophet of God. I, if I believe in all prophets, doesn't make me a prophet. Can, can you speak louder a little bit, please? Can you speak louder? No, no. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you just uh, let me the mic. Okay.
Okay, can you hear me right now? I hear you better. Good. Go ahead. Very good. Okay. Uh, like, he stopped. Uh, he stopped uh, he what? He stopped like, uh, doing bad things. Uh, okay, no, he he no he fight, uh, he fight bad things. He fight evil. Muhammad fight evil. How? I I thought he is teaching evil. I, I will give you an example. If you have a daughter, if you have a daughter, Riz, Riz, Rizlar, if you have a daughter and she is married, and I'm I'm, I'm res, I respect my family. I'm not. Don't take me. I'm making fun of you or your family. No, I'm just giving you an example. So if you have a daughter and she is married. And then I come okay. and I come to her husband and I say to him, Hey, let us say his name is Ahmed. I say, Ahmed, are you married? He say, Yeah, I'm married to the daughter of Rizal. And then I say, Is she like a child or she is a growing woman? He said, Oh, she is a growing woman. I say to him, Oh, why you are marrying a growing woman instead of a child? A child, you can play with her, you can have fun with her. Do you think this is an advice of a good man? Am I a good man when I advise Ahmed, the one who married your daughter, should not marry your daughter because she is a growing woman, but he should marry a child? I'm not showing you anything. I'm just asking you now. Give you an idea. That you have to do sex with your wife and have fun because no 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 this is not the question my friend focus with me your your son-in-law is married to your daughter and your daughter is let us say she is 30 years old wonderful all right so now the question is should i advise your son-in-law to get rid of this woman and marry someone else she is a child she is let us say six years old is that a good advice of a good man or this is an evil advice the guy is happily married he is not complaining Look, I see it, I see it good because like marrying, you see it good you see it good so if the guy now he divorced you so now the guy he divorced your wife just because he want to have a child so he can play with her that is good yes because uh, one of the one of the uh, what do you mean like play with her to play with her to play yeah, but, to play, to play, to play, just to play, to play sexually, to play fun, to play, etc. She is a child, child, you know, like a puppy. One of the things in Islam that we should marry is like to have fun uh -huh. with your wife. So, Knowing, because mm -hmm. not having fun with your wife, you're gonna have fun with other kids. Oh ah, God. okay. But what this, the, the, man, the man is already married. The man is already okay. married and he's yeah, having he, fun. He doesn't, he doesn't have fun with the old lady. So Muhammad tell him, ah. instead of you in that old lady and non-sexual things, marry a woman that you can have sex with her to prevent you having sex with other women in a haram relationship. So why Muhammad so marry? So why Muhammad marry a woman? She is twenty years older than him. If the if it's better to marry a child, Muhammad himself he marry Khadija. I will tell you why because she is rich, right? She have money. Uh -huh. We all know that but married every wife for a reason. Like just, exactly, like, guys. Muhammad married every wife for a reason. And Khadija, he married her because she is rich. Muhammad, obviously, he don't like old women. And you are the one who said that to me. You said, why? The, the, the Islam teach us. Islam teach us. You, listen. He have 13 wives. He have 13 wives and, and hundreds of six slaves. Here, we see your prophet. You're a prophet. Can you can you read this hadith for me? It says, "Why you don't marry a child so you can play with her, and she play with you?" This is a bedefile. This is this is a bedefile. This is a person. He have a mental issue. He is advising a man to divorce his growing woman, growing wife. She's a woman, asking the guy to go and find a child so she could amuse you. What is this? Habibi. Mm. Habibi. Let's say that you got like an old lady, like you you're twenty. You got like a fifty years old woman. Why the first of all the guy is not married to a fifty years old woman. She is not older than him. Nowhere it says that. He just married a woman, growing woman, and Muhammad advising him. 
to marry. Maybe she is 18. Maybe she is 19. She's a growing woman. So now Muhammad is saying to him, why you don't marry a little tiny child? What kind of advice? The guy did not... It's in front of you. It's in front of you. It says, he asked him why you are, you know, uh, why you marry someone like this? He said to him, my uh, uh, my brother or his dad supposedly he died okay. and he left nine he left nine listen listen he left nine or seven daughters behind they are orphan i therefore did not approve the idea that i should bring a girl like them so they are like kids muhammad is advising the man to marry a kid like them they are orphans the guy he says but i prefer to bring a woman who should look after them. So those are a bunch of little girls and the prophet is asking the man to bring someone in their age just because you want to play with her. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, wait. Let me like bring you like a tafsir. What tafsir? Even this hadith need tafsir? This is hadith. Even your Muslim hadith need tafsir? Huh? I don't understand what. Ah, uh, uh, this is seven seven one five. And if okay, I'm sorry. Yes. Can you do me a favor and turn the radio or the TV next to you, please, if you don't mind? Is that okay? Okay, I can send you like an entire and you can read it in. Huh? Okay. It's like I know you can see if you want to read it. My friend, just give me it says it clearly. We do not need to see it, but you can do any whatever you want. She it says it clearly that she is a little girl like them, and the prophet is advising the man not to be with this woman who is growing woman, not necessarily fifty, maybe she is eighteen, maybe she is seventeen, maybe she is nineteen, maybe she is thirty. And he is asking him to go after a child for one simple reason so you play with her and she play with you and she amuse you but the problem is that like uh, it doesn't show me like the hadith the same hadith like your life oh. what do you mean here we go I will give you the link you can open it from your side give me I'll give the link all right here we go. Okay, can can read your yawping until like. Okay. Yo, had you three for the like? Okay. Uh huh. Wait. So, this is evil. Yes. I'm not the giving. I'm not teaching people good manner. I'm teaching them to be pervert. This is something called pervert. A person who is happily married, first of all, none of my business, to tempt him to go and find a new wife. Did he complain? No. Did he say my wife is bad? No. So what is my business? Secondly, who in the world would advise a man, growing man? He is coming to jihad. He just came from a fight, and now. I'm advising him to find a little girl for one reason, not because she is a smart or no, just to play with her. Uh, 
it's so clear that your prophet, he is suffering from, you know, being pervert. He's advising men to be pervert, and he himself, he marry a child. It says what? Sport with her. Sport with her, huh? Sport with her. Explain to us what does that mean? What he would do? He would play football? What? <laughs> no, my friend. No, my friend. Are you are you are you are you an Iraqi? No, I'm not. I'm Qatari, oh, first Qatari, okay. He's, he's, he's from Qatar. Listen carefully. First, it, it doesn't say it doesn't say sport with her. It says it says in Arabic. My friend, read, read the Arabic. Read the Arabic. It says, Jariya tulaibuha wa tulaibuka. Tulaibuha wa tulaibuka. Not, not race with her. So you marry now a child because you want to race with her? This is the reason? I, you are you are the one you are the one who said you are the one who said to me well in Islam we are advised to marry younger so we can have a better sex you said that yes young 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 to marry a young so they can be the same age play with each other that's something good then. what do you mean marry other he, no no he the guy the, the guy the guy is coming from jihad the guy is coming from jihad he is not a boy he's not a boy he is a growing man he marry even a widow and now your prophet, he is asking him for a very simple reason to go and marry a new the, girl. The reason of that is uh -huh. have fun with your wife. If you're not going to have fun so with exactly, your wife, you're have fun. So, so the, but the guy is not complaining. He's having fun with the wife he has. What's your business? What kind of manner you have to tempt a man to divorce his wife and leave her just because he want to get a little child? And how you can have fun with a child? How you can how you can enjoy? Listen, I want you to explain. To, listen, my, my my friend from Qatar, my friend from Qatar. How you can explain to me how you can enjoy having fun with someone she is six years old? Explain to us how you do that. Okay, uh, about like Muhammad and Aisha. How, how how what what the fun exactly we are talking about? She is six. You are fifty four. You said Muhammad and Aisha. No problem. Muhammad was 54, okay. she is 6. Some hadith from Aisha says that Muhammad used to race with uh, Muhammad. They used to race. Muhammad raced years they with Muhammad? Ah, yes. th so this so this is why he married her? So this is why so this is why he married her? Because they raced together? He cannot race with the other, uh, other women? <laughs> he cannot race with someone she is 16 or 17? Who can race better? Someone she is 6 or someone is a teenage, let's say she is 15? Six, she cannot even run. She will fail down in the ground. You have read too many about this now. We all know that Aisha narrated 2,000 hadith. Am I right? Yes. I don't care how many. The reason of her marrying Aisha is, is her brain. Her brain. Her brain? Aisha, she have a brain? Isn't it, your, is, isn't it Aisha? Isn't it Aisha, the one who accused your prophet to be a false prophet? Where does it seem isn't it Aisha is the one who said it is you who claim to be a prophet of Allah? Okay, she's asking. No, she is accusing him. <laughs> well, what is that? What is that? How did she accuse him? She said, You claim, you claim, you claim. You know, somebody believe. Listen, if I say to you, You claim to be smart, so say this. You know, I obviously I'm saying you are, you are not, you have to prove it to me. Do you claim that your God does this make him not God the Habib? Wait. No problem. No, this is not a question. The, uh, if Aisha is saying you claim, that mean you are not. Prove it to us. And Aisha, she was, com and Aisha, she was, com Aisha, she was complaining that he is unjust. This why even they did, even even though they did beat her for doing that, so. Uh, uh, like we are, we are, wait, I'm going to give you an example. Uh -huh. like, us, like sometimes, like before saying something, like something secret, like we ask, Like, do you believe in God? Don't say to anyone. 
that's that's a phrase we all of you. No, 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 no. This is not. This is. She said. She said you claim, my friend. She said you know Arabic very well. No, this. No, the Muslims agree. The Muslims agree. The Muslims agree that she committed a massive sin when she did say that. She said, and not only that, Muhammad he said to her, "Do you have a doubt about that? Do you have a doubt?" Muhammad he said that to her. Do you have a doubt that I am? Do you have a doubt? Do you have a doubt that I am the messenger of Allah? Don't you understand? Show me hadith. All right, let us see if we can find the hadith in English. First, let us see. If not, we will show it to you. In Arabic, you speak Arabic. You have no excuse. Let us see. Um, okay. Well, maybe we cannot find it in English. I will give it to you in Arabic, and you read it for us. All right. The problem is that men, uh, like men, understood like the other people. Like you, you are Arabic. You know how like the Arabic Arabic phrases. I know how the Arabic phrases, my friend. I know. I know. Okay. Now open this link for me, and read. Did your prophet wife she accuse your prophet that this what? is this is what Aisha okay, did? That's first uh huh. Your your prophet wife actually she is accusing your prophet to be unjust. This is why this is why she is saying it is sahih in front of you. It says sahih. It says at the end, it says, no, it says, no, no, where it says, where it says, where, 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 uh, hold on, no, no, this, no, he is quoting for you, Al-Haythami, but then it says, there is two hadith, they are saying one of them is accurate, the other one is not. Do you see it? وَبَقِيَّةَ رِجَالَهُ صَحِيحٌ. Do you see? بَقِيَّةَ رِجَالَهُ رِجَالٌ صَحِيحٌ. So here, here you will see. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. My friend, my friend, don't invite the admins. Don't invite people and um, and mute them until we finish uh, talking. Who is the admin? Is uh, just uh, muting people. Go ahead, Riza. So as you see, Aisha, she is, huh? I don't trust. That's not from Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari. Okay, Sahih. Uh, okay. Let us go and then find something from Sahih Muslim. Did Aisha? You said she is wise and she is smart. Did Aisha practice breastfeeding for adult ten time? Huh? Huh? Did Aisha practice? Did Aisha? Irda al kabir. Hal marasat Aisha. Irda'u al kabir. Irda'u al kabir, like giving milk? Not giving milk, giving your breast as a woman. <laughs> Why you cannot? You said to me you trust Al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Wait, what does it mean? A woman, she gave her breast to a, a man. Which any breast? Breast mean uh, sadr, thadi. Okay, to an old man. Yeah, to a grown man. Yeah. Uh huh. For what? For the milk. What milk? Uh, uh, like uh, the the women, the first woman she practiced that. She was an old woman. She have no milk. Do you think women they have milk all the time? They have a faucet. They open their breast, and you start suck milk from it. No, they are the same as animals. When they have babies, they have milk. There's no babies. There's no milk. Okay, so so what happened? Like she had milk or whatever. Show me the hadith. How Aisha she will have milk? She ordered her nieces and her uh, uh, sister to give her breast to anyone want to enter upon her. Is that correct? Yeah, Aisha used to give to babies only. All right. Uh, Read with me. Here it says. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. 
أكون أدخل على مثلاً أجل أم كثر لدم أها أها كذا منك ما تسوي كذا منك سكن هير بريست Yes. Okay. So what can you say to me, Aisha is wise? Is Aisha yes. wise when she commands her sisters to give their boobs to a strange man so he suck them so they can meet her? Okay, who is the weird one? It doesn't matter. He is not he's not from the family. He is a strange man. Okay, is the strange man a baby or not? Yeah, so why 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 Aisha if she is wise, she is giving okay. You know, and by the way, and by the way, this is was a verse in the Quran. In case you do not know, this was a verse in the Quran, and I'm I'm surprised you do not know about it. I mean, you are in Qatar, you know, you know in Qatar. I mean, they supposedly they claim to be Islamic and uh, uh, they support uh, Muslim Brotherhood, etc. Suddenly, you do not know what uh, breastfeeding for adult. So here you see that. No, I know, I know, I know that. Uh -huh. used to, okay. Okay. Used to like give milk to. All right. So now, yes. not give milk. Well, nowhere it says milk. You suck her nipples. There's no milk. Women don't have milk all the time. Well, the out means uh, milk. No, mean to suck yeah. them nipples. To suck the nipples. Radda. Okay, so uh, radda. Suck the nipples for, radda, for my friend. Radda. Radda. This is the the, or, the original word of radda. radda which means you hold the nipples with your uh, uh, with your lips and you squeeze it. That's what radda. Or you push on something which is the skin. In your mind, you know that it means. Radda uh, means taking milk. Okay, man. Can you go to go? How you can take the milk? Okay, you take the milk. How the man will take the milk? How you, how the man will take the milk? Explain to us. The man guys will take the milk from the women. How he take the milk from the women? No, this is for the man. It says al kabir, al kabir. Al Kabir, Al Kabir, for adult, for adult, huh? What? Yes, let me see. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me let me let me make it more clear for you. Hold on, it's not your fault. Okay, where, where is Arda Al Kabir? Let me show you Arda Al Kabir. Give me a sec. Give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna get it from your dick. Are you using filthy language now? Yeah, Habibi, don't say things that you don't like. You say that you, you, did you did you use the word? Did you say the word dick? It means like this a feeling. Why, why a Muslim? Why a Muslim cannot be here for a second? Did I insult you? Did I call you names? Did I say anything to you? No. You don't think I told you like the verse from the Bible says that I can't suck Mary's nipples? You, you oh, no, 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 no. You can, you can, you can. But you have to show it to me, and you are a liar. But now I'm showing you from. I'm not. I'm not lying. Listen, listen. Don't. Uh, who cares about you being happy? Here we go. I will show you Arda Al Kabir. Here we go. It's in the front of you. We are not making things up. This is your book. This is your reference. And I don't care what you you think. I'm here, you know, to uh, uh, let us go. Asher uh, Radaat, uh, well done. Read. Does it say Arda al Kabir? Okay, let me read the entire hadith. Uh huh. Uh, right, please. Huh? You're right, from the right, not from the. Oh, okay, here we go. Hadithna Abu Salma. So, did I lie to you? Even the chapter, okay. even the chapter name is a breastfeeding for adult. Do you see it? 
the verse toning of priest feeding and other ten was revealed. Mm -hmm. The verse of toning, okay. على دخل نزلت آية الرجم ورضاعة الكبير. أها. ورضاعة الكبير عشر لقد كان صحيح تفكي. It says that you should be stoned for breastfeeding and other. It it says there you you will be stoned for breast for breastfeeding. No, no, no. It says stoned, stoned. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> are you sure you know Arabic, my friend? What are you talking about? <laughs> listen, listen, it says here clearly. And, and Aisha called it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the, the, the breast feeding for adult is revealed as a Quran. This is Quran. This is not even Hadith. Your God, my friend. He commanded the okay. people of Qatar. Okay, okay, okay. He commanded okay, the women okay. of Qatar. I got, I got to breastfeeding and other. Okay. Uh -huh. But breastfeeding for adult. Okay. Okay. Who is so so who? so who is Muslim women like Mus Muslim women Muslim Muslim women they give their breast to Muslim women Muslim men. Okay. Uh, no, like the wife breastfeeding. Her own husband. Really? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, my friend, I just showed you Aisha. I just showed you Aisha commanding her sister to breastfeed anyone when I enter upon her. What do you mean breast? You must, you, you, you Muslim. Listen, listen. You Muslims, you breastfeeding your wife. You Muslim men. Breastfeeding. Why you want to do that? Yeah, that, 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 that's like that's that's uh, sometimes happens. Like in real life, we all know. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. So you you so 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 you so you so your wife she breastfeed you every morning as a breakfast. Well, why not? If I marry, why not? Ah. Okay. But this is not. This is not about this. This is about your prophet. He command a woman. She have a slave. He enter upon her in his house, in her house, and she is a very old woman. She said, "My husband, he don't like it." He said, "Your prophet, ardi." She said, "How I'm going to breastfeed him, and he is a grown man." He said, "Well, I know he is a grown man. Just do it." So you lied about this is for the man, that that for the husband. Nowhere it says that. And uh -huh. okay. And you notice here, by the way, that this hadith in front of us, the goat ate your Quran, which is a different story to laugh at. Okay, here we go. Your prophet. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. It says that your prophet, he commanded a woman. Uh, her name is Sahla bin Suhail, and he said to her, "Ardi'ihi." She said, "Wa kaifa ardi'uhu wa huwa rajulun kabir." فتبسم رسول الله وقال قد علمت أنه رجل كبير. This is a religion. Wait, wait, wait a second, let me read it. Uh -huh. And let me know that it's a tafsir. Okay. What tafsir? Even this one need tafsir? Yes, it's need tafsir. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. I told it's you, give me the tafsir already. Are you telling me you gave me the first tafsir two minutes ago? You told me this is about me and my wife suckling the, the she, you know, she suckled me every day in the morning. You said that, so you were lying. This is about, not about oh, your wife. No. No, that hadith wasn't for that hadith, and that's another. Hadith. This is the same one, the same one. They are. This is the verses of a breast feeding for adult. There is only in Islam only one a ten time breastfeeding. This is for adult. Okay. Uh -huh. 
I mean, in Qatar, don't teach you how to read Arabic correctly? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me know, cause maybe like it was a tense. Oh, bro, bro. Oh, bro, 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 bro. What, bro. what? You, you come with solution now? Give me a new solution, guys. Bro, bro, he found the solution. Give me the solution. Go ahead before it, before it, before it get cold. What? Don't kill it. Uh, don't kill it. What? Go You said you give, you find the solution. What? What the solution? What kind of religion? Commanding a woman to give her breast to a stranger, and now Aisha, she is giving her breast. She is commanding her sisters and her nieces to do breastfeeding for anyone when I enter upon her. So imagine you go to the secretary of Aisha and she have all bunch of women in her in her office. And now if you want to meet Aisha, those women, they are Muslims wearing hijab, wearing the burqa. Now they are going to take their breast out and they put it for you on the table or you sit in their lap and you start suckle them even though you are a growing man. What is this? Okay, it says, it says, like, I read the chapter, it says, like, uh, breastfeeding an old man isn't haram. Aha, uh -huh. thank you very much, it's not haram. <laughs> so in Islam, it is haram to shake hand with Muslim women, but it's not haram to sit in her lap, hold her breast, and suck it. How that work? Okay, like uh, the same with Christianity. Oh, in Christianity, in Christianity, Christianity, in Christianity, we have a breastfeeding for adult. No, you believe it. You believe that. Really. A woman can hand with a man, but she doesn't need to wear a veil. That doesn't need to be what? To need a veil, wear an abaya, wear a veil. Ah, okay. Well, first of all, there is nowhere in the Quran that says women need to wear abaya. I challenge you to show me the verse in front of everybody. Yeah. You claim that you are from Qatar, you speak Arabic, but I want to show everybody that all of you Muslims are a bunch of liars when it's come to Abaya and the veil. Covering your head, covering your face, nowhere in the Quran says, show me the verse. Hmm. It says to cover your breast. Only. Because Muslim women, because Muslim women. All right, Surah Nur. Okay, 21, 31? No, not a hand, yes, uh, 31, 31. Okay, read it for us and let us laugh. And they should do it. Where, where, where it says, where it says that you should wear a veil. Read it for me in Arabic. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, wait. Mm -hmm. no. Read it to you yourself. I, I see it. Nowhere it says that. It says, no, uh, yeah, So they have to put something to cover their breast. That's all. And they don't show their uh, decoration. But nowhere it says wear a veil. Nowhere it says wear a hijab. Nowhere it says that. Well, like, man, uh, if you want to, like, if you want to uh, cover your beauty, you uh, you get, like, naked clothing. Of course, you're going to wear No, it. no, you see, it says it clearly what to cover. It says, okay. So they have to put something to cover their breast area. Nowhere it says cover your hair. No, you see, you see the word. They see the word veil in the translation is absolutely big fat lie, and you know how to read Arabic. Wait, wait, wait. It says What does furujahna mean? Vagina. Or like vagina. Do Muslim women wear work in the street without uh, without clothes? So they show the vagina. This is something everybody don't do. So you do not need a verse from God to, to do that. I mean, even atheists, they don't, uh, they don't walk in the street and their vagina is showing up. So it says here, When you see like, 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 when you see
when you see a woman with tight clothes, is that beauty? When you see a woman, she swim in the ocean and wearing her veil, and the veil is touching every part of her body, that will make her more... That's haram. That's haram? Okay, so it's so so you are saying to me now, a Muslim woman, she can show her breast to a stranger to suck her breast, but she have to wear a veil. Oh, if necessarily, guys, if it's necessarily, if it's necessarily, a Muslim woman, she can give a Christian prince her breast, but remember, brother, she have to give her, she have to wear her veil. So in the Quran, nowhere it says veil. Actually, the word hijab never mentioned in the Quran for women. Never, never, ever. Nowhere in the Quran says cover. Nowhere in the Quran says cover your head or cover your hair. It's a big fat lie. Same time, but we notice now that you admit and you agreed that your wife she can give her breast to a stranger, but yet you prefer you prefer she is better than a woman. She is better than a woman. She is showing her hair. Bro, bro, mm. you believe in Christianity that that uh, you 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 can like your woman can go naked, but show me where in Christianity it says your woman can go naked. Go ahead. Like look naked, like with tight clothes. And, like, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, all the Muslim women. Do you, do you want me to show you what Muslim women they do in Qatar and in Saudi Arabia and Oman? Do you want me to show you? Okay. If if I type if I type here if uh, listen listen don't give me a speech about good and bad I will type the word which you know it very well in front of everybody uh huh uh huh no 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 here we go this is your this is the Muslim women in the Middle East what they are doing what they are doing what haram this is not Yemen this is not Yemen those are not Yemen those are not Yemen why you are lying those are not Yemen those are those are Bahrain and Qatar and Oman and all kind of countries. Muslim women they go and they shake their butt and everybody watching and they are wearing burqa. Look how beautiful this! I love it, man. I want to go there. This is Yemen now. Is that how people of Yemen they dress? Is that how people of Yemen they dress? Listen, listen. Is that how people of Yemen they dress? Why you are lying? So now your wife she is wearing burqa, but she is bending down and she is shaking her ass. But and now in the in the top of that in the top of that you yourself you say to me that you don't mind that your wife give her breast to a stranger, huh? Okay, yeah, wait. We believe in Islam that they're gonna go to hellfire. Who 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 will go to hellfire so again? These people here. Where it says in the Quran those people will go to hellfire. Show me. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> So women who give their breast to strangers, they will not go to hellfire. But those women, they will go to hellfire. Giving breasts if needed, like if needed, like not. Yeah, yeah, like if a guy, you know, you, you, she, your wife walking in the street and somebody is thirsty, you know, like, can you please give me some milk? It's necessarily now. No, no where it says needed. It says even Muslim, they say, well, if my neighbor want to come to my house and uh, in order to be allowed to be with her alone, she will give him her breast 10 times, 10 times. Ten different days until and he keeps sucking it until he is satisfied. Not only he have to suck it, he have to suck it in ten different days until he is totally satisfied. And me myself, I'm always hungry, man. I never get so especially from breastfeeding. Oh boy. Man, I'm hungry. I need to go. Mm. Yeah, show me that those women in the Quran they will go to hell. Show me that. Wait, wait, wait. I'm waiting. You remind me of the Quran. Your God, Allah, He says, wait, and I'm waiting with you. I never heard of a God is waiting for a miracle to happen. But anyway, the miracle will happen by your hand. Okay, what about like, wait, like, wait. Uh, can you like give me like? Can you count for me how many times you said to me, wait, in the last sixty second? You keep saying to me, wait, wait. Uh, are you saying to me you could not find one verse in the Quran saying that women? It's not about that. It's not about that. Give me one verse. Show you one verse from the Bible and the ayah. Ah, one verse from the Bible. Ah, ah okay. So now you are trying to escape the immunity. You are trying to change the topic, right? And I'm going to give you the verse from the Quran that says that these are going to go to hellfire. It says what in the Quran? 
Okay, show me, show me, show me the word it says uh, the women who show show what? <laughs> she show what? She, she show what? Their faces, they will go to hell? No, no, no. I said to you, where in the Quran says that women, you said to me that those women, they will go to hell. Those women, they are wearing hijab, wearing burqa. All what they are doing, they are shaking their ass. And they bend down. And not only that, two women, they sleep in the top of each other. And doing a sexual dance, you know, obviously it's like a lesbian dance, as you see in the, in the screen. They sleep in the top of each other, you know, and they do sexual uh, 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 dancing. And this is supposedly your religion. So, you know, you say to me, those, they will go to hell. Show me where in the Quran it says that. Go ahead, I'm listening. I think you told me already more than a hundred times. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Yeah, Habibi, wait. And why well, you call me Habibi? So now what? Uh, you know, people will think that you are something. You know, you call my man Habibi. Don't do that. So st stop saying wait and stop calling me Habibi. Should we should should we go to the chapter of wait in the Quran? I can go. Your God, Allah. Okay. When they ask him for a miracle, he says, wait, and I'm waiting. Uh, yeah. uh. Have you ever heard of a God? They ask him for a miracle. He says, wait, I'm waiting with you too. What? You're waiting for who? You're the God. Wait, wait. Uh, uh... <laughs> Okay, uh, it doesn't say what it says in one of the headings. Does it say? What? So it's not so it's not in the Quran. So it's not in the Quran. Secondly, secondly, uh, isn't it the Quran says that Allah He forgive all sin except shirk, which means even if you are a homosexual, you go to heaven in Islam. Yeah. Thank you. So while you are talking, they will go to hell. If Allah in Islam allow all kind of sin, just don't worship. If they die. Not, 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 no, not they repent. No, no. They all what they need to say, they need to say Bismillah wa bihamdihi one hundred time, and all their sin is forgiven. Isn't it true that you say one hundred mm -hmm. time? Correct? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I don't hear you. What? Yes, yes. But man, you don't know you're gonna die like in one minute. No problem. Minutes. But you do every day. No, you can say it before you die. So guys, you say imagine this religion. You do all kind of sin. Listen, listen. In, in this religion, you rape, you kill, you steal, you fart, you do whatever you want. Then you say, and he agreed. Uh, uh, you say, Bismillahi wa bihamdihi. <laughs> explain to us. Explain to us. Hold on. My, uh, Reza, 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 Reza. Listen. Explain to us why, if I say Bismillahi wa bihamdihi one hundred time, all my sin is forgiven. Why? Let me answer you about killing. And you have, and, and you have, and you have to say it in Arabic. <laughs> What's happening to you? <laughs> Mom, you don't want me to talk. You're talking. Uh, you don't want me to. Uh, think about killing. Ah. You kill. The Quran said that Khalid and Mukhalid and Fiyaf and No, that if you kill a Muslim, uh, one, uh, if you kill a Muslim, uh, you're going to stay in hellfire even if you're a friend. My friend, thing, that's that's false. That's that's false. That's false. In, in fact, you're a prophet in your Europe. Your Quran encourage you. The Quran, the Quran encourage you to kill Muslims, isn't it? You believe in the Quran. The Quran says, if you, if two group of Muslims have an argument, try to fix it. If not, kill the one. Kill the one which is a transgress. Is that correct? 
that's for the reason, but I'm saying that you kill someone for fun, for, uh, because you're mad at him or something. What, 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 what? Okay, there's something you could, by Shara Allah, and you could just because you're mad at someone or you're uh, fighting with someone. No, no, this is, not what I'm, what? this is not what I'm talking about. Listen, I'm saying if there is two... According to the Quran, isn't it the Quran come with the solution that if two group of you Muslims disagree about something, okay. you try to fix it, and they don't agree, we kill them. Here we go. This is the chapter 49. Chapter 49, it says, if two parties among you... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, my friend. What do you want to say? Go ahead. I will give you a chance. Okay. So one of the criteria... Uh -huh. To repent is not to do the not do the sin again. Not from your heart to not do the sin again. Show me where it says that. Show me where it says that. You know, one of the hadith. Where, where it says if you don't do sin again, I challenge you. If I kill a man, and what? If you kill a man, a Muslim man, uh -huh. for no reason, for uh -huh. no reason, for no purpose, you're going to see him fight. Hold him, hold him for Okay, okay. Let us go with you and see if this is true or not. Uh, so, if I kill a man now, and then tomorrow I kill another man. And then I killed the other day another man. And I killed the other day other man. And I keep doing this like I have 30, 40, 50. Is Allah going to forgive me because I keep doing that or not? Uh, no, but see, I know the hadith you're talking about. The guy that killed a hundred man. Uh, Did Allah forgive him? Yes, he did. Why? You said, you said, you said, if you kill a Muslim, you go to hell. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. It's up to God. It's up to God. Ah, uh, a second ago, you know, a second after, you don't. That's all like that. So here, this is a story of a man. He killed 99 men. <laughs> 99. 99. And this God, he don't mind. Kill more. You know? You see all those hadith in front of you. So how in the world this religion is? So if you are a homosexual, you go to heaven. If you are a lesbian, you go to heaven. If you kill hundreds of men and Muslims, you go to heaven. If you rape, you go to heaven. So heaven in Islam is nothing but a collector of murderers and criminals and fornicators. There is no good people in heaven of Allah. There is. No, it says actually it says that even if you like if if. Uh, 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 even if your sin is more than the, the, the form of the ocean. Is that correct? Ocean form. Just say, Bismillah wa bihamdihi 100 times. Okay. Okay. Why? So why Allah? Why Allah? Want to forgive your sin? You did not even ask to repent. You just said, Bismillah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. You did not repent. You did not pray. You did not do anything. You just said in Arabic, whoever says, Subhanallah, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, 100 times a day will have his sin forgiven, even if they are like the foam of the sea. I know this hadith. Uh -huh. So now where is the word repent? Do you see repent? No. He just said, Bismillah wa bihamdi. So now I go kill people, rape, uh, murder, steal, do everything, you know. And then at the end of the day, I say, Bismillah wa bihamdi. It would take me less than a minute to say it. All my sin is gone, but even it's if it's more than the foam of the sea. That isn't stupid. Huh? That isn't stupid. He wouldn't. He wouldn't accept a prayer of a God. No, my friend, your God is. Don't say. Don't insult Allah, please, guys. Guys, did you see, guys? I don't. It's what I don't like about Muslims. They are insulting their God. He just said Allah is not a stupid. What he is? He just said he is against sin, according to you. But if you say Bismillah wa bihamdihi, 
He erased your sin, even if it's more than the foam of the ocean. So your God is encouraging sin. He should say, shame on you. It doesn't matter how many times you say my name. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So keep saying the name of God a million times. Will not save you from hell. What save you from hell is to do the command of my father. You Muslims are the opposite. You say Allah, Allah, Allah a hundred times. You are going to go to heaven. So Muhammad is encouraging sin. Because now any Muslim says, okay, you know what? I go and do whatever I want. And, you know, I go to Thailand, sleep with women, drink halal food, what a blood, you know, kosher, uh, kosher pork and kosher uh, uh, whiskey, black label, you know. And then I come back home. I say, Bismillah, wa bihamdihi 100 times. All my okay, sin is gone. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, the Muslims that don't play are not Muslims. And there is a hadith. The, the, the Muslim don't pray, they are not Muslims. Not Muslim. oh, no problem, but you, 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 listen, if a, if a person, okay, hold on, hold on. If a person he don't pray, and he say, Bismillah, he will be a hundred times. It doesn't, it doesn't, no, it says that whoever, whoever says, read it carefully, Subhanallah, he will be 100 times. All right, my friend, my friend. Nice talking to you. I have to take the second person. You can come back later if you want. All right. This guy is waiting for long. Mr. H. Is that okay? Okay. Thank you for being here. You can come back later. You know, we, we are here almost every day. And because, you know, I'm a very hungry person for breastfeeding. Uh, go ahead, uh, Mr. H, if you don't mind. Mr. H, go ahead, please. Yes. Hi, Christian. Um, first of all, I just want to thank you. Um, uh, I'm sorry for, for deceiving you because I'm not Muslim, but I just had one quick question, please. I've not been waiting here for, for long. All right. I just had one question um, because um, I've been talking to my parents about uh, everything that I'm learning with you these past two years, and uh, um, my father just wants to know uh, whenever like an Arab man comes and asks uh, about uh, God, how do you say God in, in How, Arabic without saying Allah? That's what I want to know. Yeah, well, the, the, Arab, the Arab, the Middle Eastern Christians, because they've been forced under the Islamic occupation for 1400 years to use that word. So right now they use it, but this is absolutely false. There is many way to say God in Arabic, like Rabb, Rabbi, uh, Ilahi, uh, uh, Khaliqi, there's many words. So we have to go only by what the Bible says. And if we want to give it a name, if, in fact, even the Bible don't have a name, even when God says, I am, that's not a name. So we can use Elohim, we can use Yahweh, we can use Christ, we can say uh, uh, Jesus. All of those are names of God if we use them as a name. But however, none of the Bible, by the way, gave a name to God because nothing can describe him. And nothing, no word can describe really what God is which means in the way to be fit with him, to the way to describe him really how he is. So you can say the word God, you can say the word Rabb, you can say the word Christ, but still you should not say the word Allah, for Allah is two words, A-L, which means God, and La, La is the word which is the moon God. So we should not use that word. And if there is any Christian you know, he is using that word because I know Christians who live in Islamic countries, they've been forced to use that word. As an example, Indonesia, Malaysia, Middle East, Arab countries, Muslim countries, whatever the Christians are minority, they force them to use that word. And I say to those Christians, you are committing a big sin against God by saying the word Allah. Our God is not Allah, have nothing to do with Allah. Even if you're a priest, he became a coward and he don't dare to say, well, you know what? We, don't, we have nothing to do with this God. Our God, never his name uh, Allah mentioned in the Bible, not in the Aramaic, not in the uh, uh, Hebrew, not in the Greek. We cannot find it anywhere. They cannot, it can be found only in the ancient history of the Mediterranean, especially in the Babylon area, where they worship La, the moon God. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Christian. You're welcome. So, guys, we have a good time to together today. Maybe I should not keep you for long. And those who they are, uh, you know, downloading my videos, feel free to download it and share it with your friends. Uh, 
we encourage all Muslims to come and join us always to debate us. And as you see, the Muslims, they, they leave us speechless. They are so powerful because Allah is in their side. And today I'm speechless for two reasons. I want to do breastfeeding for adult from a very conservative woman. She wear a veil. Shaking hands is haram for her, but shaking her breast in my mouth is lawful. That's amazing. It's so conservative. Conservative. I mean, if this is not conservative, what is conservative is? Hmm. In the top of that, they could not find us where it says that women she should wear a veil or cover her head in the Quran. In the top of that, Muslim women they do muta and they rent themselves for five minutes sex and get paid for it, but they are conservative. In the top of that, the gentleman who called me from Qatar, he says. Islam advise us to go and marry children so we can sport with them for sex purpose. It's more fun. Isn't it the purpose to get married is to have fun? You heard him. And now we have a conclusion that Islam must be coming from the true God. His name is Allah. The moon God, police be upon him. And Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him, should be wanted in every corner for teaching pedophile, aggression, misleading, deception, sin, and all what you need to do at the end of the day, say Bismillahi wa bihamdihi 100 times. Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi 100 times. And then if your sin is more than the ocean, more than the form of the ocean. Look how how much. Don't worry. Be happy. Your sin is gone. I will be back later. Don't forget to subscribe. You can join us in Discord if you wish or in Ramble. And we will try to come back later, maybe a few hours from now. Or maybe at night. We will see. Until I see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince. Was serving you humbly for today and every day God is good so is Jesus and Islam has no good in it and we prove it to you every day take care